Hello, welcome to Change the Real, and today I will be going over my top 10 sci-fi movies. My honorable mention is Evangelion 2.22, You Cannot Advance. This is the first anime to make it on my list. I'm a big huge fan of the Neon Genesis Evangelion franchise. If you're not familiar with Neon Genesis Evangelion, it's basically about a young teenager named Sinji who pilots a big humanoid, part mechanical, part mechanoid mech, and fights alien creatures named angels. It's set in a post-apocalyptic uh, world and, and deals with basically the apocalypse. The series gets very metaphysical, and I will not go through all the aspects of that series here. It makes it as my honorable mention, and not higher on my list because this is a series. To fully understand this movie, you have to like watch the television series, and all the movies and there's just so much stuff to consume so for this list i had to pick a movie i picked the second movie in the new revamps that they've been doing mostly because out of the three that's out so far there's going to be a total of four the second movie is my favorite one of the three so i had to give at least a nod to evangelion on my list open the pod bay doors hal I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Number 10 is 2001 A Space Odyssey. This movie is one of Stanley Kubrick's best pictures. And for a movie that was made in 1968, the special effects still hold up. Special effects are amazing in this movie. This movie is a classic movie and it is an example of what true science fiction should be. I will not go into the deeper meanings of what the uh, film could represent. There are many theories out there on the internet that you can take a look at if you're more interested in looking at the theories of, of what people have come up with. This movie has stood the test of time and rightfully so, it needs to be on this list. Shut it down. Number 9, Dark City. Dark City is a very noir movie in which our lead has amnesia and he doesn't know who he is. He wakes up in a city that is constantly changing, in which the people's memories are constantly being rearranged and tested on by a group of alien creatures. The special effects in this movie are great, and the city warping scenes is one of, in my opinion, one of the most memorable scenes in science fiction, and you can tell it heavily inspired Inception later on. This movie makes the number 9 on my list because it does fall off my r radar every um, few years, and then when I go back to watch it again, Again, I realize how much I really love this movie and how good it really is. It is one of my favorite cult classic movies. If you have not seen this movie, I suggest you do so. It's really good. Number 8 is the newest movie on my list, Avatar. I'm a huge James Cameron fan, liking all of his movies. The special effects in this movie is amazing. It takes computer-generated effects and computer-generated characters all to an all-new level. It looks beautiful. The uh, action is amazing. It's just a fun ride altogether. The main reason why this doesn't make it higher on my list because of the predictability of the storyline. It's very predictable using movie tropes and storylines that has been used in Hollywood many times. But it's still a very enjoyable movie. And given the fact that it's like one of the top grossing movies of all time, I'm pretty sure that most of the general audience has watched this movie. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. Number seven is The Matrix. The Matrix is about a hacker named Neo who discovers the secret of the Matrix, which is that the world around us is nothing but a computer program. After being woken up from the Matrix, he joins a band of humans who are rebelling against the machines to free all the humans from the Matrix. This movie is amazing for its amazing action sequences and for the revolutionary way it pushed computer generated effects, most notably the creation of the bullet time effect, which wowed audiences. The movie still stands up today, both with its special effects and with the story.
Number six on my list is a movie that inspired The Matrix. The anime Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell is a cyberpunk story set into the future where humans cybernize their bodies where the question of what is human and what is machine starts to become blurred along with the metaphysical story and the great animation and some really cool action this movie is one of my favorite all-time animations i'm a huge fan of the ghost in the shell franchise even though i do not think this is the strongest in the ghost in the shell franchise i believe the tv series standalone complex is far better but this this is about movies not television series that is why this one makes it on this list it just has a certain type of cool factor that i really really enjoy this movie number five is david lynch's dune based on the novel by frank herbert Set in the far future, a duke and his family of the house Atreides are sent by the emperor to the desert world of Dune to take control of spice mining operations on the planet. Spice is essential for interstellar travel. The house of Atreides is soon betrayed, setting the duke's son, Paul Atreides, to not only seek revenge but also fulfill prophecy and overflow the emperor. Even though this movie is not accurate to the novel, the imagery and the special effects of this movie and the acting and just the plain storytelling that David Lynch brings to this film is amazing and it makes this one of the best science fiction movies ever made. Number 4 Alien this 1979 classic is not only a great horror movie, but also a great science fiction movie. From the sets to the alien design, this movie actually makes you feel like you are alone in space. The atmosphere of this movie is like one of the best ever. I was torn on whether or not I should put this movie or the second movie, Aliens, on this list instead. Because I really love that movie. I think it's a really good movie. Really solid sequel. And the sequel is less of a horror movie and more of an action movie but looking at the two movies i realized that this is the stronger science fiction piece so it makes my top four number three Metropolis. This 1927 science fiction classic is set in the future in a metropolis city which is divided into two social classes. The workers who live underground and run the great machines below and the wealthy dominant class that lives on the surface. The held down worker class is, is starting to rebel and with a push from an outside force, a mad scientist and his android, he pushes the worker class into rebelling bringing anarchy to both above and below ground. This film classic is a black and white silent film from Germany and it is one of my all-time favorite movies ever. This movie almost made number one on my list. The reason why it didn't make number one is because I don't watch it as much as my number one and my number two on this list. The problem with watching this movie is that the original version of this movie no longer exists. It has been re-edited and changed throughout the years that the original version just no longer exists anywhere. So I suggest if you want to watch this movie, watch the version that's called The Complete Metropolis. It is the closest cut to the original version of the film that you will find. <laughs> Number two, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. With the assistance of the Enterprise crew, Emerald Kirk must stop an old enemy, Khan Nudian Soon, from using a life-generating device as an ultimate weapon. My two favorite Star Trek movies is Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan and Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country. If I had to pick one Star Trek movie to go into this list, I chose Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan because Star Trek II, in my mind, represents what Star Trek means to me. It has all the imagery, it has all the beats, it has all the characters, and to me that personifies what Star Trek is. The special effects are good, the acting is good, and it's just a good all-around movie. So number two is Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Number one, Blade Runner. The second 
Ridley Scott movie to make it on my list. Set in the future where retired Blade Runner, Deckard, is brought out of retirement to hunt down and terminate four replicants who are artificially created humans who stole a ship and returned to Earth to find their creator. Based off of a short story by Philip K. Dick, Blade Runner represents everything that I look for in a science fiction movie. It has beautiful visuals, great special effects, and the overall story is amazing. It also deeps very deeply into the philosophical on what exactly it is to be human, which is exactly what Ghost in the Shell taps into. But in this movie, I think it does it even better. There are at least four or five different cuts of this movie, although I personally like the, either the director's cut or the final cut versions. But any version that you like or any version that you end up watching does not change the overall feel of the story. So that's my number one, Blade Runner. You might be saying, wait, you didn't have any Star Wars movies on your top 10 science fiction movies. And that is correct. Because I don't feel that Star Wars is a science fiction film. And this is my, this is my argument. Star Wars doesn't have any, it has very little science fictional elements in it. Sure, there's spaceships and it's set in space. There's more fantasy elements in Star Wars than there are science fictional elements. It is a space drama, but a space drama does not necessarily mean that it's a science fiction film. I feel it was more of a fantasy movie than a science fiction movie, so it doesn't make it on this list. Is there a science fiction movie that I left off the list? Please place your comments below or over on my Twitter page. If you like this video, please press the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please press the subscribe button.